All right, guys, Father Tom and C. Today I got, I got the Hotson Hercules Bully out, 30 caliber. I'll be shooting at this middle target with the poly mags. Uh, this top one I was just trying to zero the scope, see where it's landing. From uh, 27 yards, and I went back to 51 yards. This is where I'll be shooting now, 51 yards. And then we're going at the bottom one we're going to shoot some jsb 44 75 i'm a little out of breath because i just got done hand pumping it back up so all right we're gonna go down there see how it goes yeah, i'll be shooting off the let me turn this around right quick so you know i'm shooting back there at that plastic table kind of facing it's kind of downhill kind of rickety and i really need a i should have brought my shorter bipod because that one's a little too long but we'll make do all right let's get to it guys this was a poly mag this was the JSB 44.75 um, the way the table slanted downhill this is this is a lot of me because I, I got the back of the gun way up in the air when I'm holding it and it's very unstable but right here I got a better a little bit better rest on it but it was still up in the air and with them, uh, I'm still getting used to shooting this 30 cal, and uh, it don't take much to move them sights off. But this is about what you can expect. This thing is accurate; it's a lot accurate more than I can shoot it. Uh, you really need a good steady rest on the back of that because of the. Uh, it just uh, you hold it way up in the air; it's gonna wiggle around a lot. But uh, yeah, it shoots pretty good. I like the only thing I done to it, I didn't clean the burrow nut when I got it. That's straight, straight out of the box, except for I lightened the trigger up, and it does pull a lot better. Uh, I wish I had a somewhere flatter where I wasn't shooting uphill, where I could actually put a the uh, back of the gun wasn't so high up off the table where I could put a rest underneath there. Um, I really need my shorter bipod, but 
it, it is accurate all this right here is just my movement so and I forgot to get my memory card for my camera on the gun so I don't have the footage on it this is I just have to use the footage from the GoPro so it seems to hit pretty hard it seems to be really accurate you just got to do your part um, and I said right now I got a hand pump I'm pumping that thing up with and it takes quite a bit to if you go down too low it's got a big tank on it 500 cc and uh, not bad if I'm, I'm sure uh, there's other videos on YouTube where they group pretty much all together uh, I'm sure if you had a level ground this is 51 yards um, and a good stable platform for it yeah it'd put them all probably right in that circle and this down here is actually you see these two over here that's from me moving around but uh, these right here this bottom one is 10 shots that's a full magazine so you got them two up here where i shook it and the rest that's eight shots right there so I could have done a lot better than that like I said if I had a level spot where I could put a rest something to rest that back of that gun on alrighty alright guys I went back I looked at the magazine this is seven shots so this is five here and two here alright we're going to try to shoot this lollipop here at 27 yards see what it does Pop. I think it's gonna take a get a little get used to that bull pup style. It does shoot good though. Uh, pressure's down to 100 bar now, and I'm about to pump it back up using that hand pump. Usually when I'm at home, I do a little bit at a time, but out here I ain't doing it all at one time. But uh, yeah, as far as accuracy, I think it's got some pretty good accuracy. Uh, you just gotta get used to it, and definitely. I need to stick a shorter bipod on it uh, so the barrel's lower so I can get me something behind the uh, stock and rest it but overall I, yeah I really like it it hits pretty good and I wish I wouldn't have forgot my SD card for my camera and I got the other view from me shooting it but just have to settle for this GoPro I worked last night so I've been up all day uh, I want to come out here and do this see, kind of get the scope lined up but I do need to shoot it more and see how it does alright guys it's been Father Time NC I'll catch you later How's it going? This is Father Time NC. This is the Predator Polymags right there. <clears throat> the 44.75s. Uh, you can see that this is just me moving around here. The uh, bullpup design. Uh, pretty much you gotta get used to firing this. A little bit heavy caliber. Got a little bit not like the uh, 25 caliber the Benjamin Amada and the uh, Air Force Condor I got it's got a little bit heavier even that reduced uh, when I adjusted the trigger pull still got a little bit more 
pull to it and also like I said making a video the uh, back of it I had pretty high up off the table <coughs> and it was moving around quite a bit so this is a pretty accurate gun uh, just gotta get used to sh this is my first time shooting it other than the eight yards of the other video I made in the ballistic gel so it just takes a little bit of trigger time on this gun to get used to it and of course this is the JSB 44.75s these two I pulled this five right here and six and seven I uh, checked the magazine there's three left so that's a five and like I said it just takes a little bit getting used to this guns uh, really accurate this is at 51 yards both of these so I'm happy with it uh, just gotta get me a tank and a compressor because this thing it does take a lot of air and the hand pump uh, takes quite a while to pump this one back up because it does have a big tank 500 cc and it does use a lot of air Like I said, I had it on the table. It's probably, the back end was probably up like this, trying to get level, because I was sitting downhill, and it don't take much. A little bit of movement back here moves the muzzle around quite a bit. Um, probably need to stick my shorter bipod on it, but overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. It just it takes more trigger time for this gun. It puts out plenty of power. Right now you see I got my pump set up to it. I pumped up. I do 50 pumps at a time to get it back up. It's going to take because I shot it pretty low. Alright guys. If you haven't got this, this is 30 caliber. Uh, seems to be really accurate. Probably a lot more accurate than I can be with it. But I think you just got to get used to shooting it how it shoots the trigger pull and everything it's like it's it's not it's still got a it's not too bad of a trigger pull that i lighten it but it still is more than the condor and the uh, armada them you just those are very light it don't take much to pull them and there's no recoil at all this one of course it's 30 cal and it does put out quite a bit of air so it's got a little bit of recoil not much it's just something to get used to and the bullpup design you know most of the barrels back here so it, it very little movement at the gun stock especially when you're holding it high you really need something to stabilize it um eventually i'm gonna get me a tank for this thing so i'll shoot a lot more with it if you're gonna shoot a lot with this gun you do not want a hand pump you definitely want a compressor to comp pump it up or the air tank or both all right, guys. Have a good day. And just one more thing, I forgot. To, uh, I forgot to get my card for the uh, gun cam. So the only video I got is the GoPro of it. So that was my fault. I left it here when I went over. Uh, I've been up all night. I worked. And I was up all day before I went over there, so I was kind of tired. I just went over trying to get this video made. Uh, like I said, overall, still happy with this gun. Got it at a decent deal, so. Yeah, if you want your 30 cal, this is probably a good, uh, good one to get. Just make sure you got a tank, because the hand pump, it does take a long time to pump it back up. And like I said before, this is a 12 power SWFA 12 by 42 scope. It's really good scope. Alright guys, take it easy.